Section 2.4, Brackets and Simplifying. This is part of the Ultimate Revision Guide to Further Maths GCSE, the Algebra section. Now, I've um, got no bullet points this time, it's just multiplying out brackets. It tends to be um, either complicated sets of, of double brackets, or um, which is these two and, and these, or maybe even a triple bracket, which is what this one is. So essentially, as long as you can multiply out, you've got the, the basic ideas of multiplying out brackets, you shouldn't have any problems here. you just got to remember to do each, each thing, multiply each thing by each, every other thing. So let's start with this, this example here. Obviously, it's a good idea for you to pause the video and have a go at these yourself. Um, and there will be some practice questions down the bottom here. And uh, if you want to go back to the index, you can click on that button there. Okay, so um, pause the video, have a go, and I shall go through them. So this first one, um, when you've got lots of terms in here, all you've got to remember is everything in this bracket needs to be multiplied by everything in that bracket. So we've got to do 4x to the 4 times the x, and then this times by the x, and then this times by the x, and then this times by the x. Then we've got to do all again times by the minus 4. And if we do that all the way through, we'll have 8 terms. Then we just got to combine them and simplify them. So let's just do that. So we've got 4x to the 4 times x is x to the 5. 5x cubed times x is 5x to the 4. Minus 4x squared times x is going to be minus 4x cubed. And essentially all we're doing is increasing the power of the x by 1. So that become x squared. So that's the first lot times by the x. And then we've got the top lot. We've got the same ones again times by the minus 4. So we've got minus 4 lots of all these. So minus 4x to the 4 minus 4 times 5 is minus 20x to the th 3 minus 4 times minus 4 is plus 16x squared and then we've got minus 4 times by 7 is minus 28x and then we need to simplify it, so we've only got 1x to the 5, so we've got x to the 5 5x to the 4 minus 4x to the 4 is x to the 4 so should be a plus, no, but equals there, plus um, x to the 4 one of those, so we've got minus 4x cubed, minus 20x cubed is minus 24x cubed, plus 7x squared, plus 16x squared is plus 23x squared, and um, we've got no x terms here, so we've just got that tag on the minus 28x on the end. Okay. So just as long as you take it systematically, do all the sections, the, the most problematic thing with brackets are the negatives. This minus 4 times each of those, make sure you get the right signs, is where most of the problems occur. Um, you might get given something that's, that's testing your knowledge of indices, so x to the half times x to the 1 plus 5, so we're just going to get x to the half times x to the 1 plus x to the half times 5, so x to the half times x to the 1 is just x to the half plus 1, which is 1 and the half, or 3 upon 2. And that times by 5, we just put the 5 in front of the x to the half. So just tidy up. It's better to write indices with a um, improper fraction or top every fraction. So we have something like that. Um, triple bracket expansion. So we've got 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5 times 2x plus 5. Obviously the most common error is just to cube this and cube this and miss all the terms in between. But if you do the first section, first double bracket first, and do that however you multiply a double bracket, so I really, shouldn't really need to teach you that here, you will get 4x squared, uh, 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times 2x is 10x, so that's 20x, and 5 5 is 25, and then we've got times that by 2x plus 5. So it's a little bit like this first one now. We've got three terms times by two terms, so we times all of those by the 2x, and we get um, 8x cubed. So 2 times 4 is 8, x times x, x cubed. 20x times 2x is plus 40x squared, plus uh, 25 times 2x is plus 50x. And then we've got to do this plus 5, plus 5, uh, sorry, times 4 is 20. Oops, 20x squared, and 520s are 100x, and 525 is 125. And then simplifying all that, we get 8x cubed plus 60x squared plus 150x plus 
Okay. Um, reciprocal type things, we've got one over stuff. Again, we just do the each term separately. So x times x is x squared, x times minus one over x. I'm just going to write that down as um, it's going to be negative x times, let's write this down first. And then we've got um, 1 over x times x, so we've got plus um, 1 over x times x. And then we've got um, minus 1 over x times 1 over x. Um, you might have noticed it's a plus and minus the same thing, so actually those middle terms will cancel. You're going to have minus, which is actually going to be minus 1, this bit here. So we've got x squared minus 1x times 1 over x. That cancels just to give you 1, so it's minus that. And that's 1, so those two middle bits cancel. And then we've got minus 1 over x times 1 over x, which is 1 over x squared. So that's just x squared minus 1 over x squared. There's a difference of two squares format that one. And then we've got this awkward thing here. Let's just multiply out these sections here. We've got y squared times y squared is y to the power of 4. y times 7 is 7y. Sorry, y squared times 7 is 7y squared. Then we've got the 5y times y squared is 5y cubed. I'm doing it in a slightly different way this time. So instead of doing each of these times this one, I'm doing this times those two, and then this times those two, and this time. It doesn't actually matter which order you do it in. As long as you make sure you have six terms, you've got three times two makes six terms. Um, 5y times 7 is plus 35y. Minus 2 times y squared is minus 2y squared. And we've got minus 14. And then we've got to take away this. Take away three lots of y cubed. Take away three lots of minus 2y, so that's going to be plus 6y. Be careful with that sign, that minus and minus. In the plus there, very common mistake to actually put another minus in there. So we've got y to the 4, gathering our terms up, we've got a y, 5y cubed there, minus 3y cubed here, so that's plus 2y cubed. 7y squared minus 2y squared is 5y squared. Um, 35y minus uh, plus 6y. 41y, and we've got this um, minus 14 there. Okay, so let's just check that through. So y to the 4, y cubes that makes 2, y squared makes 5, and y's makes 20, uh, 41, and the minus 14. Okay, so also examples there of multiplying out brackets, I think. The way I did this one was a bit untidy because it's not in order of powers. If I'd done this times that, that times that, that times that, that might have been in better order. Um, but essentially that's how we do multiply out brackets. And don't forget you can go back to the index or you can do some other practice multiplication of brackets there.